Hello everyone! Many of you requested the second episode of the knuckle rings, so here it is! We are going to make the love ring, a mustache ring and the infinity ring. So I hope you like them and let's go to the DIY! After my knuckle rings DIY video when I showed you how to create a bow, flower and a heart ring, I received many requests for more ring designs. I love making knuckle rings, so why not? Let's start with the mustache ring. Take 30 cm or 12 inches of wire. Clamp your pliers down in the middle of the wire and take one end over the pliers like so to create an oval. Place the pliers on the upper side of the oval and bend the wire upwards. Then bend it down again like so and you will get this kind of heart shape. Clamp one side of the heart down and bend this edge inside like me. This is how you get a half of a mustache. Now you just need to repeat these steps on the other side. I like wearing the mustache accessories so much and they're always more special if you actually take time and make them yourself. When you have the mustache shape you only need to make the ring. Clamp together the two wires in the middle and swirl them so that they attach one to another. Then just wrap these two ends of wire around your tool until they overlap and you get the perfect circle for the ring. Place the pliers on the wire at the back of your ring and make a little loop. Snip away the excess wire and make sure that the loop is flat against your finger so you don't hurt yourself with the sharp end of the wire. Repeat this step on the other side and that's it! How cool is this ring, right? You can make bigger or smaller mustache rings this way. I went for a rather bigger one so that it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. Next we are making an infinity ring. This is probably the easiest one but very adorable and delicate. Take your wire, clamp it in the middle with pliers and make a circle. Make another circle next to it and you already get the infinity shape. It's that simple. Now you just need to round up the two parts of wire picking out to form a ring. Press the infinity sign against your tool and wrap the wire around it so that it overlaps once. Finish the ring the same way as previous. Create two loops which must be flat against your finger and snip away the excess wire. This ring can be done in a minute and I love the simple shape and the meaning of the infinity sign. If you're not a fan of big complicated jewelry pieces, this feminine detail is perfect for you. What kind of accessories do you like? Are you more into larger statement pieces or do you prefer smaller dainty jewelry? I'm pretty much open to all, I think statement pieces can really transform the outfit and overall look, but I do love small dainty jewelry which goes with everything and you can wear it day to day. It could mean a lot because of the special person that gave it to me or the jewelry can carry a nice message, like the infinity ring or the love ring which we'll make now. To start off, bend the wire slightly to get kind of a V shape. Then just start writing the word love with wire. This may look difficult at first glance, but it's actually super easy. Round nose pliers will help you to make perfect circles and neat letters. For the letter O, make a circle and round it up on the top right corner. For V, you need to make sort of a wave shape. You can write the word love on the piece of paper to help you. Then just recreate the shape with the wire. You can also write other words on your rings. There are endless possibilities. To finish the word love, we still need to make the letter E. Bend the wire to form a smaller circle like so. This is how my wire love word looks like. Pretty nice, isn't it? Wrap the wire ends around the tool for a perfect ring circle. This love ring is so timeless and delicate, making it a perfect addition to any ring set. To finish up, just make two loops and snip the excess wire. When paired with other team bands or rings, I think above the knuckle rings can make a super chic visual statement. They represent the latest way to wear jewelry and are super trendy this summer. If you prefer normal rings to knuckle rings, you can make the circle a bit larger and wear them as regular rings. I think this one is my favorite, it's so delicate and special. Which one do you like the most out of the three? So these were the three designs that I made today. If you haven't seen my first DIY knuckle rings tutorial, click right here. And also, if you have any DIY video requests like necklaces, rings or clothes, let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, I hope you're doing great and I will see you next time. Bye bye!